I wanted to point out some very unique things about TF system um, ICF versus the other lock type ICFs. TF system, you can put up the whole wall, one side, and the whole inside can be wide open. You can then at any time add poly panels to the inside simply by sliding the plastic rails over, open, and put the panels in. Just like that. Another nice thing about having the system wide open, of course, is tying rebar. And I like to use plastic zip ties when I tie rebar. So you can tie the joints to the rebar together, or you can tie your horizontal rebar to the plastic studs and just leave them just loose enough so they'll stay in place, but you can still slide the rails back and forth. With TF system, the only form system in the world where you can open up the side of the wall, slide poly panels up and down, and you can pour through the side of the wall. And you get some panels that are up stiff, and there might be an area where they're a little loose, and there's one little trick. We got little holes in the side of the rails, so you can stick a nail in. You can have all the poly panels up in the air, and you can come along with a pump hose, and you can pump concrete inside a wall, and then somebody will come along behind you. If you spill any concrete, they'll brush it off. And then they just come along and slide the panels down, so on and so forth. You're on the corner if you got one slice tight, and that's how you do it. Okay, neat thing about TF system is you can burn up all kinds of your cutoff pieces, so there's very little waste in the system. There's actually uh, less than one percent waste if you use up all your pieces. So you can stack short pieces however you want in the wall. fill up a whole column. So you might have these pieces when you cut off for below and above windows. As a matter of fact, a good place to stack all these pieces would be in the area above the windows or below the windows. Another unique thing, put on the full panels. Never work when someone's filming this, right? So you can also stack up a bunch of pieces of plastic. As long as you have two cross ties, you can stack up your plastic pieces. One on top of the other. So if you stack up a bunch of short pieces on top of each other, that's all fine. The cross ties on here may not line up with the ones in your wall, but it doesn't matter. So when you slide a rebar in, it'll sit on these and this will either be high or low. Maybe it's a little bit in your way, but it doesn't matter. The rebar will sit on top of them or sit below them. As long as you can slide the rebar through, you'll be fine. 